left. It's time to return this book. Time to give it up. Yeah, that's 
SOS. So, of course, the moment I got home, the word help was gone. Oh, mini stroke. I had to figure this out, so I turned to page one to see if anything else had changed. At the very moment Prince Oliver was born, his father died. Queen Marie became a shell of her former self, and Prince Oliver grew up in a castle full of silence and grief. Yeah. That is, until... Are you Grace McPhee? Uh, no, I'm her daughter. Sign here, please. You've been served. Make sure your mom gets this. Final eviction? No, 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 no. My dad is supposed to be paying our rent. Pick up, Dad. Please pick up. Hey, Dad. It's Delilah. They're gonna kick us out of the house. I really need your help. Mom's not here, so it's safe to call back. Please call. Look, I swung by Goodwill and struck gold. Alexander McQueen and it's your size. Oh, yeah, it's great fun. I'm already late for class. I just came home to change. Uh, Mom, focus. Missy McAndrews made me stay an extra hour scrubbing shower grout with a toothbrush. But then again, you did break her daughter's knee. Thank God I'm not a living maid. Um, you might want to reconsider that. Jesus. Delilah, when were you going to tell me? I did it last week when the landlord called, but as usual, you weren't listening. God, this isn't happening. <phone rings> Hi, Dad. Give me that. You haven't paid our rent. I don't care what your lawyer says. You agreed to cover the bills until the divorce was final. Uh, I'm sorry? What part of me working all day and going to school all night isn't trying? Oh, you son of a... I thought when you moved out, the fighting would stop. But I was wrong. So I climb out my window onto my roof where I can't hear them fighting. And the walls in my room are closing in. Life's weird. Seventeen's weirder. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck for one more. I can 
my favorite? The author. All I get to do is grunt. Thank goodness you're here. 
I need your help. Tell me. Is this an abnormal mole? Uh, oh, I knew it. I have the wasted disease no time. No. Nothing is wasted on you. I think it's just a freckle. Just a suggestion. You should probably only flash your pecs to your fiance. Are you jealous? Of a beautiful princess who has a guy totally fixated on her. Um, yeah. That princess has the brain capacity of a sea cucumber. Well, you act like you're in love with her. Don't believe everything you read. Trust me, I don't. My world is full of people creating fake versions of themselves. Why would anyone live a fictional life by choice? I would give anything to experience something real. Trust me, you don't. Reality sucks. Delilah, have you seen the car keys on the counter next to your phone? That voice I heard, is she your queen? Basically, she's my mom. Delilah, move it! I've really gotta go or she's gonna kill me. Ah, so she's an evil queen. Sometimes. I'll talk to you later, okay? Wait! I've always wondered why I was written. But now I think I know. I was meant to meet you. You are amazing, Delilah McPhee. Stop! I'm sorry. No, no, no. I mean, don't stop. Ah, I've embarrassed you. All right, then. You are not amazing. You are run-of-the-mill, completely dismissible. I really gotta go, so I'm just gonna... Oh, so... Well, 
woefully inadequate. When I dream of Mr. Darcy, Mr. Darcy appears. He's my guide through the countryside as we take a ride. I could 
kill him, not actually kill him, but you know what I mean, I could scream. There's a burden in ruling over minions and weighing their opinions. This image I'm maintaining, yeah, it's draining, and the paralyzing beast always has me in my place. No one really likes a woman when she takes up space. Oh, but these are just my inner thoughts, inner thoughts, my deepest
your job? What took you so long? We're not Russian literature. Then why do I have the urge to throw you in front of a train? Spitzer. Wench. Lush. Supporting character.
You all right? Me and my mom had a fight. She loses it every time I mention my dad. Ah. But was he taken by a dragon? No. A very flexible yoga instructor. Look, my father is just a flashback. Look, I wish I had memories of him. Trust me, you don't. It's harder to lose someone when you know what you're missing. Where is your father now? In Boston, with his girlfriend and her perfect little daughter. They don't exactly want me around. Well, that's their loss. Ali, you hardly know me. Well, I know that you write notes on your hand when you need to remember something, and that you bite your lip every time that you read. I do not. Ah, you just did it. And you wear my favorite frock every night. This? Why is this your favorite? Because we are to bed. Ollie! <laughs> Do you ever imagine what life would be like if we could actually be together? No. Constantly. Daylight waking up beside you, marveling at your beauty. In the early sun, as I'm overjoyed. Oh, so we feel like sleeping in the same bed? Is that not how it's done in your world? Yes, but you're missing a few steps. Weekends, going on adventures, or maybe watching movies, playing on the sofa and holding hands. Um, who is movies and why must we watch it? Oh, Ollie, you have so much to learn. With face to face, in the same time and space, it's not get any better.
spend my whole night talking to Ollie. If it wasn't for my chemistry midterm, my teacher, Mrs. Brown, grew up in Hoboken, has more plastic in her than the ocean, and is definitely mob adjacent. And since Ali and her squad are in the class, I really wish this were an invisibility cloak. Um, this is me and my first husband on our honeymoon in Cape May. These girls are real bad then. Um, this is me and my second husband on my second face on our honeymoon in Atlantic City. And this is me. I have absolutely no idea who that man is. Isn't that Principal Hess? <laughs> Now, today's lab test is 60% of your grade. When, in other words, we'll determine who'll be taking a brief visit next year, or who'll be going to science as fun. Jules. Who's your partner? Don't have one. Delilah. You can work with her. Oh, I'd be happy to work with them. Thanks. Mrs. Brown, please report to the principal's office. Mrs. Brown, to the principal's office. Uh, oh, All right, young people, I wash stations over there. Try not to set ourselves on fire. <laughs> do you want to take notes, or do you want me to? My handwriting sucks. You can do it. New couple alert. <laughs> oh, the new girl's
psychiatrist. Ah, Dr. Ducharme. You know, as shrinks go, he's not that big of a bag. Blame it on stress, your parents, or the patriarchy. If he gets out the crayons, you're fine. If he gets out the hand puppets, you're screwed. Delilah, it's gonna be okay. Thanks. So what's going on? You're bullying Allie McAndrews? No, it's the exact opposite. Allie and her boyfriend Ryan are making my life a living hell. They posted this whole thing on Instagram and... Don't even bother. They took it down. Okay. But you've attacked Allie twice. Look, this is a huge misunderstanding. Allie and Ryan took something of mine. It was a library book. A fairy tale, right? Yeah, so? Fairy tales don't normally inspire violence. Tell that to the Brothers Grimm. <laughs> Touche, Delilah. You know, I looked at your old transcripts. You were a straight-A student, never in trouble. What changed? Life. Look, I don't drink. I don't get high. Reading is what I do to make everything else go away. Lots of people escape into fiction, but there's a difference between a distraction and an obsession. So which is this? Give it back! Give him back! Him? It. Give me back the book! Please give it back! Give me back the book! Oh, Relax. Relax. You seem pretty attached to that fairy tale. No, I'm not. Prove it! Instead of reading it, go for a walk. Invite a friend over and watch Netflix and chill. That does not mean what you think it does. <laughs> Look, I know you're upset, but you attacked another student, and I can't just magically make that go away. Look, please don't suspend me. My mom will kill me. Then we'll call it a mental health break. So, what did he say? I'm taking a mental health break. Oh, so you're suspended. Exactly. But why are you still here? My lawyer says I don't have to answer that question. I really gotta go. Delilah, I'm here if you need me. Just in time, Frank and I were 
just about to have a little tea party. We were? Yes, we can all put on our fancy boy pants and share our feelings. I'll go first. Today, I saw some rice and, well, I wept. Now you go from. I am hopelessly in love with Princess Seraphima. We know. Prince Oliver. <laughs> I can't share feelings right now. Oh. <clears throat> what could you possibly be upset about? Dear, sweet, perfectly illustrated Oliver, right down to those ridiculously cute dimples. Flash them for me. No. Flash them? No. Ollie? Okay. Yay! Now what's got your tights in the twists? What's the point of being a hero when you can't save the one person that you want to? Skellio, can you paint anything onto your magic canvas? I suppose. And whatever you draw appears like the butterflies do. I don't see why not. I need you to paint something for me. What did you have in mind? A girl with eyes the color of honey. No! 
Delilah, good news. I asked for Skelio to... Are, are you crying? Everyone thinks I'm crazy because I spent all my time lost in a fairy tale. Well, I'm not crazy and I spent all my time lost in a fairy tale. Ollie, it's not funny. But we'll get through it together. How? You live in a book, and I'm stuck in the real world. Yes, but... Uh, Ollie, I can't do this. Salam, please, don't shut me out. If I could change my story, I'd start it all over here and now. I'd listen to the world, get back on track. I'd ditch the me. Delilah. Ollie? Um, who's she? 